Hey there guys, this is Guyver here from uh, Legendary Gamers Reborn, and what I'm going to show you is on The Sims 3 skills, this is only part one of it, so I made this house with uh, different things in it for, for skills, so I'm going to take that guitar and drag it into the inventory. I'll show you guys that later from, on, uh, from in this video, it, or part two, I forget which part it was. But right now, what my uh, random sim is doing is she's doing painting. And what you can do with painting is it's obvious. Like on the other two, you just keep uh, you just keep putting colors on and all that. And she keeps making some random picture. And then after when it's all done, you can uh, sell it. So uh, this also helps put their fun up. When they're uh, when they're stressed out and all that. So now uh, the next thing I'm going to be showing <laughs> is uh, is about about the uh, social skill, but for charisma, but it doesn't work unless you have at least one. When you're uh, when you have when you have your sim that's charismatic or that has charisma. So. Sure. No. No. Let me see if I can get it. Gary greet both of them and invite them inside. Here, Joga. Ah, Chirlop. All right, so now I don't want to be friends with them. Uh, let's invite them inside. Kazor. Kazor. Sometimes when you do uh, certain skills in this game, you can actually learn them from. Besides from books, you can, they actually uh, made an improvement on this game where you can, uh, when you watch the TV, um, you can you can learn the skills on the TV can, depending on what kind you have. Um, you can learn gardening, cooking. Uh, you can learn. You can do athletic on there, so you can get their athletic up if you want to be an athlete. And then there's the charisma skill she's trying to work on, which is in front of the mirror. Sure. And you can also do some other certain skills by uh, taking classes for them, even though it costs simoleons, depending on what you want to do. Uh, it's worth it if you have the uh, if you have the money, but it can get expensive sometimes, but eventually when you wear it out, then you have to do it on your own. So, uh, right now, she's doing a cooking skill. She's, uh, she's gonna be making, like, pancakes or waffles or something. I think it was waffles. See, and then she goes mixing it, and it has that little bar there that fills up. And she's got them in a pan, and you have to... Put the waffles in the oven to get your cooking skill up. And then the two people that she invited over, they're just sitting there talking while watching TV. And, uh, had to speed this up a little bit because it was taking a long time to, for it to, uh, for it all to cook. And I had to get that out of the way, because uh, she doesn't really need to use that since she's a natural cook. Because yeah, you got to place it somewhere, or otherwise it's going to be stuck in that corner next to the fridge, and then that's not going to be any good, so uh, I'm going to speed this up. And what you do is call the guests to meal, and then they'll all come, and she'll get a, grab a plate. And then they'll start going and getting theirs. Yeah, well, e even though I don't have a table, I'm just using this house or this this kind of game as an example for uh, mm -hmm. for the uh, for the skills. So uh, I'm going to speed this up again while they're eating and all that. And I was going to do handiness in this video, but I can't do it mm. because I don't have any skill, like anything to put the skill up, but for handiness, um, well besides that, there's where you can do the athletics, 
you can just go, go to workout and select cardio or strength. But anyways, for handiness, uh, say like if something breaks, like the sink, and uh, you have to call the repairman up. But if you have handiness skill, you can fix things. And the weird thing is, after you get your handiness up high enough, on like the toilet or like fixing like fixing things like the toilet or a sink or shower or anything like that, that's uh, mechanical. You can actually uh, upgrade stuff when you're doing that. And then the next what we're going to be doing is playing chess. And then I'll just uh, pick somebody out. And what chess does, it's obvious. Like on the other two, it gets your logic up. And uh, it also helps make your sim a little bit smarter. And you can actually uh, get opportunities from your skills. So uh, what happens with uh, skills is when you get opportunities, you can uh, you can pretty much teach others to play chess, or say like you're doing paintings, you get an opportunity to make paintings for the museum or the gallery or wherever it is that the uh, art stuff is, or say if you're like a handyman person, and, uh, and you're fixing things and you have a high skill in fixing things, then uh, you can pretty much uh, you can pretty much go over to somebody's house to get the opportunity and then go and fix their stuff. So uh, now what I'm doing is, it's pretty much getting late on the time there, and I'm going to have her ask them to leave, and all that, if they would, uh, if she would get up, but I'm going to have her put away the leftovers. So, uh, like I said, you can learn the other, some skills from the TV, besides, uh, books and, uh, other things. Uh, the uh, one of the other things that I like about this game is uh, if you actually do all the skills, then you can uh, and you can pretty much like make some pretty good money off of it when you uh, when you do that. If you get all these opportunities and you can just if you're good mastered at all of them, then you can just do any one of them. So now she's going to be going to sleep. And uh, if you guys like this video and want to see part two, hope you guys enjoyed this part one of this video. I'll see you guys later. And stay tuned for the next video that I have to show you the rest of the skills. I still got a couple more to show you. So I'll see you guys later. And game on.